All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So I'm sure this one's going to be a controversial topic, uh, and that is should should men shave their arms? Um, me in particular, I obviously shave my arms. I don't know if you've noticed or looked at closely or not, but I do shave my arms. Um, and the reason that I started um, was because a buddy of mine got me started. I didn't really realize it was a thing until I started paying attention to it. Um, if you look at any of these fitness personalities, any bodybuilder, you know, for the most part, 99% of these bodybuilders, fitness models, these guys on Instagram, look at their arms. You're not going to see any arm hair. They all shave their arms. And I didn't really notice this um, until a buddy of mine kind of introduced me to the concept of shaving my arms because he shaved his. He would shave his forearms, but he wouldn't shave the rest. Um, but I shaved my whole arms. I started shaving the top instead of the forearms. I kept my forearms hairy and shaved the top of my arms. Um, but if you look at any famous fitness personality, you know, any famous bodybuilder on YouTube, Instagram, in the magazines, you're not going to see any body hair on them. And the reason for that is that because when you shave your body hair, you can see much more definition in your arms. You can see you can see the veins better. Uh, the hair kind of distracts and distorts um, the lines in your arms. It distracts the lines from your veins. Um, and the lines from your hair just really covers it, especially if you have darker hair on your arms. I had, you know, I had blonde uh, body hair. So it wasn't that distracting, but it was distracting to a degree. Um, but certainly people with like black or brown arm hair are going to benefit greatly from shaving that hair off in terms of seeing more definition. Um, so a lot of people are kind of afraid to shave their arms because they have kind of like a homophobic, you know, complex where they don't want to, they don't want to be viewed as feminine because they're shaving their arms. And they're not a hairy masculine man. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. There's nothing inherently gay about it. I think it's an objective it's a pretty objective action. It's nothing that can be viewed as gay or not gay or good or bad. It's just something that you do. I don't really. It's really a matter of opinion. So if some people think it's gay or think it's bad, you know, it's not really. It's not really a valid opinion because it's really kind of a. It's really kind of just an action. Shave my arms. I probably shave them every four days. Um, that's when they kind of start to get pretty pretty hairy again. Um, so every four days I shave my arms. I use the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide. It's the razor that has the head that uh, um, the head that's kind of like on a swivel type of. It's got like a ball head that swivels and kind of glides with the contours of your body. So that's the kind of razor that I use. I use Gillette um, shaving shaving cream as well. Um, I also shave my chest. So when I shave my arms, I shave my chest. I I had a pretty hairy chest. My chest was actually really hairy, and my chest hair grows back really fast. So I shave my chest probably every three or four days as well. Um, sometimes I'll shave my stomach. My stomach gets pretty hairy, but I don't really care too much about that because, you know, it's your stomach. It's not really supposed to be a, it's not really supposed to be a focal point of definition all the time. Um, but now that, now that my abs are coming in more, I probably shave it a little bit more often, but that's something I shave maybe every 10 days, every two weeks, um, something I'm not really too worried about um, because the most definition that you're going to be seeing is in my chest and in my arms uh, year round. So those are the things that I'll probably shave year round. Although when the winter time comes around, I'll probably stop. I'll probably stop shaving because I'm going to be wearing hoodies and flannels and all that stuff. You're not even going to see my arms probably. So, yeah. Do I think it's normal for guys to shave their arms? Absolutely. If you see any guy in a bodybuilding show, it's mandatory for them to shave their bodies. You're not going to go on stage in a bodybuilding show, you know, covered in body hair. Shaving your body hair, it's not a subjective. It's not a Shaving your body hair is not a matter of opinion whether or not it makes you look more defined. It's a fact. That's why all these bodybuilders, they all shave their hair before a show. A lot of bodybuilders are so vascular, um, they have to use a cream that burns the hair away because if they use a razor, they're just going to you know, cut a vein um, and they're going to be bleeding everywhere. So I believe there's a cream sold by Nair. They got a pretty good cream for men, but some people say it doesn't work as well. I know uh, when my buddy bought his Pro Tan before he competed in his show, um, I think he bought a can of Protan's brand of uh, hair away, I think it's called. And I think that was supposed to melt your hair off. He said that didn't work too well. Um, he was a pretty vascular guy. I think he just ended up shaving his whole body um, and not even really relying on the gels and stuff. Even if you're a pretty vascular guy, it's still a possibility for you to shave your arms. I'll just be extra careful. Um, but if you need to check out the nair and stuff like that, um, you might have to do that. I mean, sometimes my arms get pretty vascular. It depends on the day, how many carbs I'm eating, and how low my body fat is that day. Um, but, you know, I don't really have a problem with hitting a vein when I shave because I shave so often. I'm getting pretty good at it. 
Um, so, yeah, guys, if you want to shave your arms, I say go for it. You've got Nick Strength and Power's approval. Nick Strength and Power, ah, signing out. Look at those, look at those clean-shaved arms.